Hello. My name is Denise. I look forward to getting to know you. A robot ethicist is going after sex robots and she is saying that banning them is important if you care about real relationships. Also, androids aren't judgmental. They're not programmed to be. So everyone can let their crazy fantasies take flight. Hey everybody, you know, if there's one thread that I'm getting kind of tired of seeing online, it's the dreaded sex bot thread. You know this, you've seen this. Uh, there'll be some sort of scientific article claiming that a Japanese scientist has made some sort of breakthrough in creating a more human-like autonomous android. Like the one of uh, Scarlett Johansson that looks all creepy. And this will lead to the claim that very soon, perhaps sooner than we think, humanity will have access to fully functional fuck robots. Sex bots. What these are, are robots that you can fuck. And then, of course, the, the, the thread will go back and forth between people who say, Myself, I would never have a use for such a tawdry appliance. <laughs> and then other nerds will chime in and say, <laughs> no, If I had one of those, I'd never leave the house. Yeah. And then people will post pictures of Cherry 2000 and Ghost in the Shell and the robo hookers from that Spielberg movie that I never saw. And, of course, the Space Pope. But in there somewhere, somewhere in that discussion, someone will say, No, you are making fun, but this is a serious topic. What will human relationships become when we can satisfy our base needs with a, 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 a robot instead of another human being? Will human relationships fall apart? And this is one of those times when I just want to say, Stop! Hold on! Can we, as humanity, just avoid this one particular off-ramp just this once? Me, I fall into the former camp. I do not want to fuck a robot. Ever. 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 Unless it's maybe a situation where we put our brains into robot bodies or something. Okay, that'd be different. That, that's totally different. But in general, I think that sex bots are a horrible, horrible, disgusting, gross, freakish, unnecessary idea. Now, don't get me wrong. I want more robots in general. I want robots that can mow my yard and do the dishes and stuff, but I don't want to fuck them. Can you imagine having to clean out the cum trap afterwards? Jeez. And like a lot of things in life, uh, you know, so sometimes I feel like my fellow humans, they create s solutions that are way too complicated. Things can be done simply. Before going the sex bot route, can we, um, okay, I understand why some people don't want prostitution to be legalized. Unwanted pregnancy, abortion, the spread of horrible STDs. Herpes is a big problem. It's coming back in a big way. You gotta look out for the fucking herpes. Seriously. But, um, can we hit some kind of middle ground here when, when, when coming up with a solution for too many horny people wandering around without partners, I imagine a simple and elegant solution. It's, it's a vision I have. Imagine some sort of uh, legal business uh, located, you know, right between the Foot Locker and the liquor store. Some sort of, uh, you know, 25 minute pleasure grotto or something. Uh, basically how it works. You go in, you swipe your credit card and pay, you know, 125 bucks or whatever, nibble on some of the complimentary chocolates, and then when it's your turn, you es you're escorted back to a, a, a dark room, and there's kind of a, a laser light show effect, and some, some, some sexy music, you know, and then, uh, you know, a, a, a worker, uh, in this case, I would choose a woman, a sex worker, who is clad in a very hygienic and impenetrable latex uh, suit. She grinds on you, she teases you, she oils you up, and then it ends with just a uh, freakishly riotous, unbelievably violent hand job. No penetration, no fuss, no muss, no, no, no cross-contamination, just violent, edge-of-your-seat, brutal hand job from a latex-clad sex goddess. I would leave happy, wouldn't you? I mean, that'd be, I, I would much rather do that than fuck a robot. I think most people, once they were introduced to my vision of the 25 minute pleasure grotto, that they would prefer that to an $80,000 sex robot with a cum trap that has to be emptied frequently. The only people who wouldn't like this solution would be, uh, you know, people who were so messed up and so withdrawn that they would be like, No, uh, I'm so ashamed of myself. 
I, I don't want a real woman looking at me. I want the robot because it's eyes. The eyes of the robot see nothing. Uh. Those people you would avoid. Everyone else, you know, once or twice a week. You go to the pleasure grotto and just get fucking, you know, just, just reamed out in whatever way you see fit. You know, that is straight, gay, this, that, man, woman, the I'm just curious uh, option, maybe. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. No sex bots. Yes, violent commercial hand jobs. You know, with like uh, some kind of special friction glove and some of that, uh, that icy hot lube that's both cold and hot at the same time. Am I alone in thinking that this is the best idea that anyone has ever had? I don't think I am. Alrighty. Well, as usual, if you enjoyed this uh, disgusting video, like, comment, and subscribe to Automated Thought. <laughs>